We are teaching them how to behave, how to stay with the public, how to eat, wash hands, wash their faces, and to clean themselves. We teach the toilet activities, so that's what we do in baby classes. <laughs> In addition to this education, all of these children have something else in common. They are orphans whose parents died of AIDS. Many of them are also carriers of the HIV virus. In Uganda, there are almost one million people suffering from AIDS, less than 5% of the country's total population. A low figure if we compare it with countries like South Africa or Namibia, which exceed 20%, or Botswana, with 36% of the population infected. For some years, Uganda has been applying preventative educational measures, and the results can be seen in these comparative figures. But if we put comparisons to one side and focus on the drama of everyday life, the figures continue to be alarming. One million sufferers means thousands of deaths each year, thousands of broken families or homeless children, or even heirs to the disease. Stories like those of these children. Akagiya Ashirat, seven years old. His mother died of AIDS in 2001, and his father died in a traffic accident in 2002. He lives with his aunt. He carries the virus and suffers frequent bouts of malaria. Junior Ididu, four years old. His father died of AIDS, and his mother sells fruit in the market. He lives with her. Patricia Nayanzi, seven years old. Her mother was a prostitute in Kampala and died in 2000. She lives with her grandmother. She suffers frequent bouts of malaria. Jaliya Kawadele, three years old. Her father died of AIDS in 2000 and her mother lives in the Congo, but nobody knows where. She is a carrier of the virus. She lives with her aunt. But these children, these in particular, have hope. They are the exception. Other hundreds of thousands of African children wander the streets of the large cities or are used as cannon fodder. <laughs> <laughs> 